Now, since the fiasco that went down at Dave Rankin's assassins get together, the ranking position shifted, putting Taipan, one of the meanest contract killer, at number one, who never attended the party for he was working for the number three crime family, Medamora, as a Capone and a handler. Apart from Maxwell Bishop and Dave Rankin, only seven of the assassins were left. Chad Fingerman, whom is kind of Dave Rankin's bodyguard and believes he should be number one for he is a good sniper. Smoke, young and impressionable assassin. Wist's full stand, whom is not here. Connie the Tank, the Mamba twins, whom their first kill was their mother. Dave, uh, a regular guy who is in the top 20. And finally, the man with the dirty name and only kills with his bare hands, F. Tarkenton. Now, Dave Rankin, whom supposed to be in hiding, refused to follow Maxwell Bishop's advice to keep his head low for the time being. But Dave's ego wouldn't let that happen for he believes if he goes into hiding it will project weakness among his foes and he was having none of it for he trusts that Maxwell will do anything to see that he is protected. In fact Dave Rankin was surprised that Maxwell stuck around for he assumed that he got the killer of his lover in the shooting frenzy that went down at the assassin get together in which Maxwell Bishop let Dave know that whoever made that shot was very good that in fact, the shot was an impossible shot and still believes the killer is in the room and not dead. Dave tried to show his excitement about the shooting fiasco at his party but Maxwell was not amused and Rankin couldn't get it round his head why Maxwell Bishop is not excited or see things from his perspective but still gave him his props for he was impressed on how good Maxwell is at shooting which made Maxwell blushed a little. Now Fingerman acted like the high and mighty of the group well now that he is the new number two thanks to smoke told everyone that cared to listen that he was only around for two things to kill and make money that he was in no mood to make friends for he likes to walk alone and more or less he is better than anyone in the room smoke tried to caution him to behave and telling him that no one is scared of him in which he dared smoke to repeat the sentence again without hesitation Smoke repeated herself that no one is scared of him. In irritation, seeing this as an insult to his ego, pointed a gun at Smoke's face whom didn't give him the satisfaction of being scared which resulted in F. Tarkenton snatching the gun from his hand and cautioned him to behave himself and quit the tantrums. Maxwell Bishop told Fingerman that he wouldn't always be the fastest or the strongest forever. That as you get older, all you need is strategy and experience. Oh, Chad Fingerman wasn't ready to listen to no old man's folklore to him he was talking garbage since Dave Rankin insisted in going for his executive appointment they had no choice but beef up his security details which is to get to the meeting and get back home oh but Rankin had other extra activity before going home he wanted to get a good espresso from a particular place which exposed him to danger in which above them was a drone flying towards them and the vigilant Maxwell Bishop ordered Rankin to be taken back to the safe house for his safety. Ivan, one of the twins, was too late, got hit by a bomb from the drone and he died. Wistful Stan, at the moment, was thinking of his first kill and got hit by the drone. Dave, who was watching from afar, was shot at the explosion for everything happened so fast. Typical Rankin was surprised that some survived the explosion and suspicion was laid at the table of Echidna, the head of Medamora, who had third most powerful crime family in the city and the reason why Dave Rankin suspected Medamora was because he knocked them off the number two spot and since then Echidna had been nursing a grudge towards him. Why Connie was promising the Mamba twin that they will pay for what they have done to her brother. Smoke interjected by telling everyone that they have been going about things the wrong way for in all manner of truth and reality they are not cut out to being bodyguards but assassins. So instead of trying to be what they are not why wait for a strike when they can strike first in which Dave you know regular Dave asked her if she wanted to start a gang war but she said no that this will be an assassination